One or two words of explanation before I start. Um, first of all, uh, I, I'm uh, no more good at keeping promises than Her Majesty's Government. Uh, and to my regret, I'm not going to talk about a nation of immigrants for reasons too complicated to explain. Um, I'll talk about something else. Um, also, in order to avoid giving myself a crick in the neck, I'm going to look and see what my uh, PowerPoint tells me uh, is on the screen, rather than endlessly turning around and looking at it. Um, I, I hope I keep in sequence. Uh, if I don't, I, I shall, I, I'll, I'll check it. Great pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. I, um, I think after speaking after Eric Kaufman, uh, all I can do is, is offer a pale, a pedantic um, uh, um, academic shadow of his inspirational comments on which I congratulate him. Um, what I want to talk about is, is um, the question of becoming um, a minority, which is something which he touched upon, uh, but there are other aspects uh, really on, on which um, I want to pose questions but don't really have any answers. And I hope that once I've finished speaking, um, which is going to be in, in, in 20 minutes' time, if my time up works, off we go. Um, uh, you will provide some answers for me because I find it baffling and difficult. That's, that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, or two problems. One, um, is it inevitable uh, that we are, we, if I can say we, um, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the so-called white British, if I'm allowed the term, um, are, are inevitably heading to be a, a minority in a country which many people describe as their own? Um, and, um, uh, and does it matter? Um, it seems to me that it, it is certainly, as I think Eric pointed out very clearly, uh, implicit in, in what's going on uh, in, in, the, the West, in the Western world, particularly in Western Europe and in the Anglosphere, not so much in Eastern Europe and East Asia, where different uh, um, habits and attitudes prevail. And the, the reasons are, are ones that I'll, I'll go through uh, very quickly. Um, uh, one is low fertility and falling fertility um, among the, what you might call the, 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 the native or indigenous population, as well as the immigrant population as well. Um, a gap between immigrant and native fertility. Um, the um, constant level of, of migration, in fact, not even constant, but uh, increasing to an extraordinary, uh, unimaginable degree in the last couple of years, as you will very well know, um, uh, leading to a, a very substantial growth of the foreign origin population, um, uh, which makes reversing any of these, any of these trends uh, correspondingly difficult. Uh, great indifference, uh, as others have said, I think, uh, on the part of the elite um, uh, to, to the demographic and ethnic consequences of very large-scale migration uh, fostered for um, re reasons primarily of, of, of pleasing employers, of economic growth and other things uh, which we haven't got time to talk about. Um, and underlined, I, I think, by a considerable shift in opinion, uh, in, 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 um, especially among younger people. Um, probably most people over 50 uh, would regard uh, the, the so-called white British becoming a, a minority in Britain uh, with, with considerable alarm and despondency. People under 30 probably much more relaxed about it. Uh, and, and as time goes on and cohorts progress upwards and outwards, as it were, uh, uh, this, this will change e even further. Yes, yes, there we are. So what is, is, is a very big question. This is the famous remark of Mr. Javid, uh, which you will have seen in, in, in the papers. And this question has to be answered. As I said, for, for many people, the answer is obvious um, somehow, but it needs to be articulated. It needs to be explained. It needs to be specified in um, uh, logically, ethically, um, economically sensible ways, uh, not, not just a question of uh, what people would like or, 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 or would like. Um, uh, the first of the, of the elements that I want to talk about, um, which, which contribute to this, this possible inevitable changeover of population, is the low birth rate. Uh, the low birth rate, which is low and, and getting lower. Um, in East Asia, just as a footnote, it doesn't really concern you very much, um, it's so low as to become an existential threat. 
uh, um, and in many, many other parts of the world, it has become general. Uh, the majority of the world's population now lives in countries where the birth rate is not adequate to replace the population in the long run. Um, a, a large number of perhaps rather unexpected countries now have birth rates which are, uh, are below that level. Uh, places like Bangladesh, Brazil, we know about China, uh, Iran, Indonesia, um, uh, Mexico, um, you, can, you can read the rest. Huge countries with, with low birth rates still growing because of demographic momentum arising out of their age structures, but nonetheless uh, the, the number of the birth rate is not adequate to keep that going for very much longer and they'll run out of steam. Yeah, good. Um, the prime example of this uh, are the industrial countries of, of East Asia, uh, whom, uh, or the which uh, Eric uh, briefly re referred to. <coughs> Here, um, the, the birth rate is, is uh, equivalent to only about one child per woman, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 at most in Japan. Uh, in Korea, down to 0.7 and falling. Um, uh, this, is a, this is very depressing for them. It spreads a lot, of, a lot of alarm and despondency. I've been there several times to talk about the low birth rate. Each time I go there, the birth rate goes down. Uh, <laughs> um, so... Uh, they be advised not to ask me again. Uh, I guess that really is serious, uh, and it, it leads to um, an extraordinary. Oh, I turn it off. Oh God, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Auto destruct. Now, can I bring it back again? Yes, yes. Salvation is, is at hand. Um, this is the most dismal graph ever produced by any official government body. This is produced by the government of Japan, one of their research uh, units, um, and it shows um, what happens to the Japanese population if the birth rate and death rate remain as they, as they uh, were and are um, uh, at the, uh, roughly the present time. Um, the blue line is the population of, of, of Japan. It doesn't go beyond the, uh, the year 3000 uh, AD because in the year 3000 AD, the last Japanese uh, is, is uh, um, uh, expected to uh, populate clogs uh, and, and that will be the end of, of, of Nippon. Um, Co Korea is predicted to beat them by a short head and become extinct by 2750. I do not believe either of these projections but that's the implication, the certain implication if those current birth rate death rate trends continue and without migration of course which they're not very keen on as I'm sure you know. Something similar is happening in Southern Europe, um, thanks to the curse of familism, which they to some extent share with, with, uh, uh, with East Asia. Um, these are low birth rates in, in Greece, Italy, Portugal, Spain, um, uh, hovering ab ab just above, uh, above one child per woman, not, not as bad as in, uh, in East Asia, but nonetheless still chronically low for a long time and convergent, as you can see. Nothing to do with Catholics, nothing to do with the Pope. Um, the, 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 uh, uh, Greece is an Orthodox country, not, not, a, not a Catholic one. So they, they are in trouble um, as well. Um, we, however, um, are different, or at least we used, used to think we were different. Um, th this, the red line here is the total fertility in, in England, England and Wales, um, which reached uh, almost two uh, about 13 years ago, really quite quite a, a good show, uh, but is now on, on the way down, having previously been at a very satisfactory 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8 uh, for, uh, ever since the baby boom. And if you're in that range, about 1.7 or so, then you're reasonably safe from the point of view of uh, being able to, to resolve or manage problems of population aging, pensions, um, old age care and all that, uh, as long as you enter old age in a reasonable and improving state of health, which that in this country uh, we probably uh, aren't. Yes, the, 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 problem, the problem with the birth rate is uh, that uh, this state of affairs isn't, isn't lasting. Um, here are two groups of higher fertility countries, uh, the Anglosphere uh, and uh, Northwestern Europe. Very similar behavior, as you can see, convergent to be almost identical. Um, and, and quite satisfactory until recently when things start to go down and uh, we don't know why. Uh, it's, it's really quite a puzzle. 
Why are birth rates uh, uh, going down? Uh, down in, 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 in Britain, um, the, the birth rate is equivalent to a, to a family size of 1.49. It's the lowest ever recorded. Uh, and, and out of the safety zone that I mentioned before, Finland, which used to be very robust uh, in its birth rate, is under 1.35, uh, uh, causing the Finns to scratch their heads uh, very severely because they're quite worried about what on earth this should happen. Um, it's not. Uh, at all um, obvious why um, it should happen. Um, uh, birth rates can go up as well as down. This is an example from Eastern Europe after the post-communist collapse. But for the most part, uh, the picture is rather gloomy if you're interested in robust birth rates. Um, oh, a, a, a caveat. This figure that I'm banding around, 1.7, 1.5, 2 point, whatever, um, is, is, is a, a very volatile measure. It's highly affected by timing. Um, uh, if births become uh, earlier, it goes, it goes up. Um, if they're delayed, it, it goes down uh, without any bearing upon the final completed family size. I'm sorry to throw that tedious point in, but it's important to keep it in mind. So what on earth is going on? Well, the gurus, uh, don't really uh, agree. Um, there are practical problems, obvious ones. Um, housing and childcare costs, particularly here. Uh, population aging means that young people um, have to bring up children and look after an increasing number of dependent relatives as well, one way or another. Uh, there's, there's systematic job insecurity, all these practical reasons. There's also, I think, a moral change going on, which may be more important, um, to do with value shift. Uh, more people keep on saying they don't want to have any children at all. Not sure I, if I believe them, that's what they say. Um, there's much more concern now about the future into which you're bringing your children uh, of, of, of climate change and all the rest. And there's le lower trust and lower morale. And I suspect that some of that, all is not documented, is to do with growing diversity, which doesn't help in, in that regard. So, um, here are some puzzled gurus. Uh, one of the gurus is my former student, Anne Gautier, um, scratching her head. Uh, Wolfgang Lutz, uh, the, the guru's guru in, in, in demography in, in, in Europe, um, 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 groping, groping in the dark for explanations, because um, um, although I've advanced some reasons why the birth rate should be going down, I don't file, find them entirely adequate, and, and neither, neither does he. What about the other dimension, uh, migration? Migration, as you know, we won't need me to remind you, is, is uh, at the moment going through the roof. Until the 1990s, migration into this country was net uh, uh, negative. Uh, more more, more um, British people were leaving, yes, and more non-British people were coming, but the net balance was, was either negative or, or, or more or less zero. Since the uh, mid to late 1990s, that's all changed, and as you know, went out to 600 and 605,000 net last Last year, which I think is an exceptional number, but the expectation is it will stay at about 300 um, unless something quite unexpected happens. What that does, of course, is radically to increase the proportion of people, um, uh, the percent born outside the UK, um, gone up from um, a, a fraction of a, a few percent um, at the beginning of the 19th century up to um, um, 17 percent now and rising fast, as you can see inevitably, as a consequence of migration. And uh, th this is uh, this is the I think no it's not um, that th there is still um, some differentiation in the birth rate not very much it's often exaggerated uh, populations of, of, of uh, uh, Muslim origin Pakistanis Bangladeshis still have a somewhat higher birth rate th th than the rest uh, Indians Chinese are lower than the national average so that's not a very big uh, factor. In, 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 in our uh, demographic change. What really matters is, is migration. This shows the consequence of the population of Britain at different levels of migration. Just, just to mention two, the top blue line is if migration continues at 600,000 net per year, like last year, we have 110 million people by, um, what is it, 2050 or something like that, which is really rather impressive. Um, no migration at all, um, and you have the bottom blue line, which indicates population decline, which I think is necessary and coming anyway for other reasons, but no time to discuss that. 
The consequences are, of course, as uh, Eric pointed out, uh, ethnic change, quite rapid ethnic change. I made some projections um, 13 years ago, um, of which this is uh, the result, um, showing that, that uh, if things continued as they then were, a net migration 185,000, um, less than today, um, um, convergent birth rates on the part of minorities, we get down to 50% um, white British by about um, the late 2060s. Now, uh, uh, that's a long time in demography. Um, you can't expect things to remain as they are. Projections are only as good as their assumptions. Nonetheless, if the assumptions hold true um, and they're bound to be different, uh, then that is the inevitable outcome. And of course, the in younger generations, uh, that, that, um, that uh, switchover point will happen uh, much, uh, much faster. We can ignore that one, I think. Yes, um, this happens elsewhere. Uh, America, as always, is, is the pioneer. We, we follow what the Americans do. Uh, and, and this is a, a, an official projection by the US Bureau of the Census showing the, um, the white non-Hispanic population in blue um, falling uh, below 50% by 2042, I think, is the expected date, uh, and the foreign origin population, including the black population, which is to, shouldn't really be counted in that, in that uh, category uh, in, in the red line, uh, overtaking it. Well, that, that's common knowledge in the US and I think generally accepted. And there are other examples. Here is, here is uh, the Netherlands. Um, here are a whole collection of foreign origin populations in Europe projected to mid-century, all growing to 30 or 35 percent of the total. Um, uh, here's, here is, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Sweden. Yes, uh, that, that was uh, allowed once and then suppressed. Um, the Swedes aren't allowed to make that kind of projection anymore. It's very interesting. Um, and um, um, this is the pop proportion of population with, with, with so-called foreign background, like ethnic minority status, but different. Um, as you see, uh, uh, more than half in Austria, about half in, in Spain, Belgium. And these projections by Eurostat, nothing to do with me, uh, by, by 2061. So a uh, change is coming, it would seem, uh, unless something really quite unexpected happens. So what do governments do about it, if anything? Um, they continue as usual. The arguments, as Eric very lucidly pointed out, uh, about, about migration tend to be concerning uh, e economy. And there, there, there is, a, uh, I think, a delusion that, that, that it is unequivocally good for the economy and therefore has to be done. Um, the, the ethnic, uh, social uh, consequences, cultural consequences of it, demographic, uh, environmental consequences are not discussed, or if they are, they are dismissed. Um, and the, these are some of the, the reasons which I haven't got time to go into, otherwise I'll incur the chairman's displeasure by talking uh, too much. So, um, um, so what? How, how to object, why to object, or to object at all. Some people do not object. They regard this as being a, 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 a refreshing um, expression of, of, of um, liberalization, of, of open borders, of, of human equality for all sorts of humanitarian reasons, and not to be objected to. Um, for others, it's self-evidently undesirable, but one has to look closely as to why it is self uh, why it is undesirable, if indeed it's undesirable. And I, I've listed a, a, few, a few of the, the possible arguments, um, none of which are adequately dis, uh, debated and discussed and developed. Um, um, it requires, I think, a, a rather a great deal more philosophical discussion to erect an ethically, uh, morally, uh, uh, and, and, and nationally sensitive uh, way of, of, of talking about this. And if one does object to these trends, uh, to, to say why one objects to them, um, otherwise, so what uh, will prevail? 
we can ignore the, the factors, those factors which aren't great, but, but some of them have been discussed very lucidly at the end of uh, Eric's uh, lucid book uh, called um, White Shift, um, where he, he points out, among other things, um, that there, there tends to be a drift uh, from certain eth ethnic minority groups into identification. Uh, as, as white British, um, uh, from one generation to the next, brothers assigning their children to, to a different group from, from themselves. Uh, and of course, there's a, a high degree of, of um, uh, ethnic intermarriage, not so much with people of Asian origin, but with people from uh, Afro-Caribbean origin uh, much more. And uh, uh, that may, that, that will, as were, I think, as Eric pointed out, somewhat dilute, if that's the right word, uh, being offensive, uh, the, 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 the white British population, making it somewhat browner, uh, but nonetheless, it, it, it would reinforce them. Ah, that, I, that's, I think that's my, that's my 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's telling me that time's up. Um, um, well, let's, uh, let's, I've got one, one or two things uh, still to say, if I'm uh, uh, allowed, before, before questions. Um, oh, yes. No mind about that. Uh, I want to go back. Can I go back? Yeah. Um, this is a graph that which, of, of a, 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 an earlier um, a population projection, um, which is interesting only because of the, 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 the orange line rising up at the end on the right-hand side. That's the population of mixed origin. According to this projection, and don't, don't forget all projections are always wrong, uh, and, and that, that shows um, a very rapid growth uh, eventually of the mixed origin population who, as it were, have the choice of identifying with, with any group, and some of whom will probably identify with, with the majority group, as long as they are the majority group. Um, uh, and that, that may be one very interesting development in the future, which Eric has drawn a lot of attention to. We can ignore those two things. Um, uh, uh, this, this then may be the a partial end product. Um, here you see three examples of, 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 of that process. You may recognize the chap on the left. The, the chap on the bottom is our deeply wonderful uh, ch world champion motor racing driver. The lady on the right um, is uh, Miss Albigeois, um, also of, of mixed race, as you can see, who was dismissed from her title um, for some minor peccadillo. Um, and um, I, I, I think some of us perhaps might hope that she might um, seek asylum in Britain from the cruel, the cruel French, where I'm sure she would uh, do a very warm welcome. Uh, on that uplifting point, Chairman, I think I should stop. <laughs> Hi, uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much for, for that uh, fantastic talk. Something that in the last couple of years I've been observing a lot is the proliferation of models and the prediction of doomsday scenarios. Now, I'd like to know from your perspective what sort of error bars can be added to models, what is the trust that is in the general, uh, in the general academic consensus of models? Is there a cult like there may be in some other disciplines like um, other disciplines? You will know what we're talking about. Um, and essentially, what are the uncertainties in the model and how to measure and how can we as the public uh, protect ourselves from ideas that may even reinforce our own biases? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, it depends how much trust you have in academics. Well, uh, and, and how much academics? Sorry, yeah. Well, God bless you, sir. Um, the, <laughs> I, I, I think it's fair to say that there, there is um, a, a general consensus in the way things are going. Uh, there are two or three other groups, some, some of them much more technically competent than I am, particularly Professor Rees at uh, Leeds University, um, who have done a, a lot of projection of this kind, not um, usually um, so far into the future as I've attempted to do. 
um, and I suspect with with a um, um, with more hmm, uh, reticence uh, 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 about making pronouncements about future radical ethnic change. But they all point in the same direction. Um, and I was encouraged to see th those projections by Eurostat, uh, which I mentioned briefly, which certainly point in that direction and, and which uh, indicate um, some European countries that they mentioned, uh, Austria, Belgium, fairly close behind, um, uh, very much following in, in, in the way that the United States has gone and the way that, uh, that the UK is, is, is predicted to go. What members of the public can, can do about it um, is, is, is uh, we're, we're probably going to be told that in the next talk, um, uh, is, is to speak without embarrassment about, about their fears, if they are indeed fears, um, for culture change of a kind which they don't welcome. Uh, Eric pointed out that, that, that all the arguments tend to be uh, on the safe economic side, uh, where one is not going to be accused of being a racist, fascist beast, um, just an idiot, uh, if, you, if you object against migration. Um, if you put it in, into cultural terms, then that's much more dangerous uh, and, and awkward ground, as, as many of us have found to our cost. Thank you. My pleasure. Hello. If you're enjoying the New Culture Forum channel and you believe in our mission, may I invite you to join our membership scheme at the link below or on our website, newcultureforum.org.uk. Our work is more important now than ever and we have great plans ahead for the future, but we can't do it without your support. From as little as £3 per month, you can help ensure that we continue on our mission. As a member, you'll receive a range of benefits, including access to exclusive content, invitations to our private events, including here at our studios, free copies of our books, and much, much more, including, of course, our famous NCF mug. If you aren't able to become a member, then please help us by clicking this button and subscribing to our channel. It's completely free, just remember, to also click the bell icon so that you can get notifications when we post new videos. Thank you.